So, sir, will you come on up, Doug, and um, face the camera here and tell us what you have to say. If you'd like, if you'd like to, you can just join us up here. Thank you. Well, I'd like to thank you guys for bringing this to us. It's a small crowd, but I'm really taking heart at what you're offering in the, in the global leadership. The, the awareness, I think we need to change our motivation from profit and money and power to uh, you know, love and equality, and I think things will go a lot better for us. And I am amazed by you actually bringing it manifest to the courts, to the, you know, and what kind of life that must be to be constrained in a material world with a spiritual outlook. So I thank you very much. And I am very enheartened by this small group tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Anyone, anyone else? I think it's a couple of hours. It's been intense. It's a in very intense question. It's very deep. And we can only give a, an overview. But I think we've perhaps planted a seed for something here. And honestly, if I can take this film, or Connie and I can take this film, and have it perhaps answer these questions we've raised tonight, as in, what, how, how are we going to take this situation and just say, look, as Connie would say, it's all good. You know, like, come on, this is a big problem, she says. What do you mean problem, you know? It's not, that word's not in my vocabulary. And there's I think we're- There's only love. There's only love, she said. There's said. And you know, so and you know <laughs> um, Yogananda it was who said, there are no problems, there are only opportunities. So what kind of opportunity is this? And in what, what, we're gonna take advantage of this opportunity in the most positive way. What form is that gonna take? Rita, it looks like you would like to say something. Thank you so much for this evening. My heart is about pounding out of my chest. This is the opportunity to go back to the roots of this country, to honor the brothers and sisters who are the first people of this land, and to go back and clean up our debt to them so that we can share and be together as one family on Turtle Island. I can't say the words that I feel that this is the root of the issue. Talk about karmic download that has happened at this time. We have to go back and we have to look at the doctrine of discovery and we have to go to the Roman Catholic Church and say to them, you must <coughs> rescind this doctrine and we must make peace with our brothers and sisters so our children, our grandchildren and their children can live together on this land. And we have to do it not only in this country, but globally. That's what's destroying us. That's what's venting us person against person. So thank you for this opportunity tonight to be here and to I don't know. I'm on fire. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. I love it. I love it. And you know, there's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no going back. There's no going back. We are going forward. And we have to, you know, it really takes a vision. That's the function of the visionary in society, is what is the, what is the way forward? What are we going to what are we going to turn this disaster into? What wonderful opportunity is this? Stephen, you probably have the answer. I know, no, I know. Just, yes, you've just, got it. It's just emerging from the conversation, like a, a follow-up for that one. You know, some conscious foreclosure or conscious economics, you know, conscious, you know, land, ground up, you know, the basics, you know, I mean, everything. Just all of that, start with that and just see what comes out and raise consciousness or let the natural consciousness emerge. Mm -hmm of just being present on the planet and then get a connection to that to like laws in the state that need to be changed in whatever state you're in to make sure that that's protected from the illusory promises made between 
securitization participants because they're coming after ground. They're coming after property and, you know, it's up to the legislatures and the courts to stop them and make sure that they can prove they have a right to do it. And, you know, that doesn't come from just somebody else, some legislature being doing something. It comes from people, you know, creating it. You know, it, comes, it comes from the people standing up. It comes up. from the consciousness, you know. It and comes from the people and it grows rising and up. It's all. Yeah. Okay, but anyway. Yeah. Henry David Thoreau said, with an unjust law, you can obey it, you can disobey it, or you can change it. So here we have a fellow who's leading the charge in changing the law. So I, I'm honoring you. I have to put this out because I can make it easier for everybody. Well, I think I'm going to say thank you so much to everyone who participated tonight. Thank you to everyone who showed up in the audience. Thank you to Kenny for the beautiful blessing and the vision you gave of, of the, just the, the brotherly presence that you bring. I thank you so much for that. And for the two men back there documenting this so that the rest of you out there on the planet can see this as of, uh, this is February 2nd, 2011, and I believe as of February 4th, you're going to be able to get, go to Grassroots TV wherever you are on the planet, as long as you're on the internet. And see what we did here tonight. GrassrootsTV.org. Grassroots TV. <laughs> Grassroots. The oldest and longest running uh, community television in America. It this is, is what? the oldest and longest running community television station in the country. The oldest and longest running community television station in the country. I am honored. So, Connie, my beloved partner, thank you. Stephen Brunette, thank you. thank you. And Tara Sheehan, thank you so much. Yes, Tara, the work you guys are doing, uh, you and Luann and, and Casey, is, is incredibly powerful. All of you guys, because you're, you're, in, you're in the thick of it. You're in a position to act and to influence others to act. So I thank you so much. And we've got some fun ahead of us. <laughs>